Never in my life have I ever had Patox Tiki Masala Curry Simmer Sauce. <laughs> Creamy tomato, onion, cilantro, and spices. Tastes of India. Established in 1958. India's a little older than that, right? <laughs> Shut up. When my parents arrived from India, they had the spices and ingredients to make real curries. Simple and easy. You guys, hello, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating, and welcome back to my kitchen. This is my happy place. Today's video, today's donation, is made possible by Jessica Carter. <laughs> With a little alley -oop from Michael. Cooper on the lob and up. Let's call him Jessica Michael Carter. Oh, that sounds like the next pop star. You bumping that Jessica Michael Carter? The JMC? Welcome to the future, bitches. I got it. Have you ever tried any of the Patox Simmer sauces? No. Zero times. I get the tiki masala simmer sauce from Walmart. I thinly slice chicken breast, saute with light salt and pepper, set aside, slice half red bell pepper, half green bell pepper, saute with lead. Blah, blah, blah. Shawnee been prepping. Tonight, to get prepared for this meal, well, right on cue, I put in the jasmine rice into the rice cooker. Sometimes timing just works out, you know? Always rinse the rice, rinse, strain, whatever, you know, you get it. It makes it fluffier in the end. It actually really matters. Even matter. I thinly sliced my high quality chicken breast. I basically want this to look like how Mongolian barbecues chicken used to look before you take it to the guy to like, hoo, 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 hoo. I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try. Really all my knowledge of preparing food is just going to Mongo. <laughs> I did the same with a fresh looking green bell pepper and I did the same with a fresh looking red bell pepper. Jessica, thank you. It's time to saute. Did anybody play Wordle when that was one of the words? Did you guys get it? I think one thing that really drew me to this recipe was the simplicity. I love Indian food, but I never buy like jarred tiki masala or anything like that. I only ever eat Indian food when I'm ordering it from a restaurant. So to kind of do this as like a quick meal, but still cooking fresh ingredients on the stove top is exciting and proving that all you need is salt and pepper and then that jar, which I personally think has a gorgeous label and I've heard great things about this company. So B-roll shooting Sean was in full effect before this one. This part's fun. Let's test it. Yep. We're there, man. We're there. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. This stuff is so, so thin that it's gonna cook in like five minutes. We've got our salt, fresh cracked black pepper, Were you guys Mongolian barbecue people? My fiance's favorite place, Blue Pacific. Perrysburg? Euler? All the stuff's at the fresh bar. You put it in a bowl and then they like grill it all in a sauce or whatever you want and bring it back to the table and you eat it with like tortillas or rice or noodles, whatever. Dude, when I discovered that in high school, game over. It's all I wanted to do. But it was like $15 to go there and it was so expensive as someone working minimum wage at Farmer Jack, you know? It's always bonus savings time at Farmer Jack. Sure, it was always savings time at Farmer Jack for the customers, and it was always Shawnee Low Paychecks every other Friday. At Farmer's X, Farmer's X. I worked 40 hours, and I got paid after taxes $198. <laughs> so sad to think about. And I know a lot of you guys are older, and you remember when the minimum wage was much less than $5.55 an hour. But my first job in high school when I was 15, $5.55 an hour. So after taxes, I had to basically work an entire day, eight hours, to like go out to dinner with my friends. No way. To me, there's nothing like a stir fry though. This is gonna really hit the spot. I pretty much know, but better to be safe than sorry. You know, I don't, can't really afford food poisoning when this is my livelihood of doing, you know. 165, baby. All right, Carter fam said, Take this off, set aside. That would be the thumbnail if I was just reviewing chicken. 
Spend it always saving time at Farmer Jack. All right, piping hot bowl of salt and peppered chicken. Going to the side. And then here comes the color. You know, I think normally I would say, how are you not using onion and garlic and things like that? But if this works and is good and this simple, just cutting really these three things, chicken and two peppers, I'm here for that. Nice and coated, all that oil and chicken juice. Can I offer you a spray of chicken juice? <laughs> Nordstrom's, you know. Salt. Pepper, just like the Carter said. Carter, Even if you're not a vegetable person, how does this not look amazing? All just oily and salt and peppery. Damn. All right, we are properly sauteed on the veggie front. Damn. Here's what the thumbnail would look like if I was just eating peppers. Heat in the pan is lowered. Oh, baby. Man, that smells, it's like a hybrid of curry and then like a really garlicky, oniony, like tomato sauce. Get hype. That is gorgeous. Jessica, Michael, I hope you guys are eating this today. This is one of those small spatula moments where, you know, you paid for it, you gotta get it all. There was no world my family was ever throwing this away, looking like there was any stuck to the sides. Am I right? Are you guys like that too? I know you are. Don't throw it away. We're gonna bring this heat up just a touch to get this nice and warm. Got a little bit of a bubble, a little simmer going. You want it basically looking like a horror movie could kind of take off from the 80s, like right out of the pan. There was always bubbling cauldrons and like goo monsters coming out of sewer grates. <laughs> We're warm. Now we put everything in so it can simmer and kind of dance and meld and orgy itself for five minutes. It's just coating so well. Lid's going on. Kind of a low simmer. Five minutes. Dude, if you're not loading your dishwasher and taking care of some of the dishes in the interim, you're not truly enjoying your meal. Because I hate getting done with eating and feeling like I just ate so much and then being like, time to do a task. No. Be smarter. This guy's a little preachy. <laughs> Hope everybody's wearing a condom in there. Can't wait to see what this looks like. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> oh baby. Now that's dinner. Man, you guys, how good does that look? Steamy. Oh, look at how sticky that is. Jasmine rice from the rice cooker. Damn. I said damn a lot in this episode, I apologize. <laughs> Allie's still working, gotta make her a bowl. And then what are we saying about this? <laughs> Jessica, your donation, I never would have bought this jar. Ever, ever, ever. I skip right by those and unrightfully so. Damn, that smells so good. All right, here's Allie's. Looking amazing. Here's mine. Looking great. That is a very large bowl of food. You really did just get done with work? Yes. That worked out well. Welcome to the set. No one's ever sat with me at the stove before. It's funny that there's no leg room built into a stove. <laughs> Why wouldn't they know that in 2022, I would start doing this at my stove top? They should have predicted. So what's your experience with tiki masala? I don't know if I've ever had it. All right, you excited? Yeah. Say hi to oh. Jessica. Hey, Jessica. All right, here we go. <laughs> you think Lionel feels excluded? No. <laughs> That is so good. This is really good. You cooked the chicken really well. Thank you. They wrote the recipe in the email like so, so well. Jessica did? Michael bought it for her, her husband, but they don't know mm. that. 
That's cute. People really do find love in a hopeless place. <laughs> I think they knew each other before this. Oh. <laughs> they didn't like meet in my comment section. <laughs> but what if that happened? If that happened, I would have to be the officiant of that wedding. Mm. And I would vlog the whole thing. Jasmine rice is the best rice. The sauce sticks to the chicken and the vegetables so well. It all does seem like one unit. How do you think I did with the sizing of the peppers? Really nice. Everything's really well balanced and you cook the chicken really well. Vegetables still have a crunch, but they're soft. This is my kind of meal. So funny story about this. I had the exact same problem trying to find it and it was the only one at the store that wasn't there. So I had to go to another store. <laughs> Look at this, it's literally the only one. It was on sale and it's just gutted. This one right here, it got so many other hot talks, but the one I need, goodbye. Goodbye. That's hilarious. <laughs> Everything else is fully stocked. That's how good this is. That does mean that people love this one. And it was only $4.99 on sale, like five bucks for this, like fantastic. This is really good. Do you want to watch some TV together? It would be nice to move away from the stove. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go watch some TV, unwind after this crazy night. Allie's teaching a class tomorrow morning, which I'm gonna take, so it's also nice to be eating something semi-healthy. I mean, pretty damn healthy. Chicken and vegetables and rice, I mean, this is a bodybuilding meal. Jessica, Michael, and your four littles. I like how they said they have two bigs and four littles at their house. They are the bigs that. teenagers or? Big, they're they're bigs the bigs. Or... Two bigs, uh, four littles. I didn't know if the children were the bigs and like pets were the littles. Maybe there could be, two, maybe four of the little, like two two kids, one goldfish, a gerbil. Like, I don't know. This was such a fantastic donation. A little bit more work into this one, but like totally worth it. And uh, you donated two times for me to have like enough to make this video. That was super nice of you. So if you guys wanna be like Michael, be like Jessica, be like the Carter family, the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, it's linked below. I make a donation video like this every single day of 2022 until the donations stop. We're on a roll, we're approaching 90 straight days of videos. Thanks for joining me for this. This is like nice to eat dinner together. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for also making me dinner. Mm -hmm. It's nice that it's like a twofer. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Eat more Indian food.